All right, well, I'm going to try and film this upload as fast as possible. Yes, I use my laptop for editing, and yes, I use Premiere Pro. I guess both of those came from the same box. Don't lose it. There's the price I paid for bowls, by the way. Uh, here's the speaker I bought, by the way. It's a little dirty, but... It's gotten a lot of use in the... Just under the day that I owned it. I bought this thing literally yesterday. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Uh, if you know, I'm not a Bose person. But I did not want to make the mistake and buy another JBL Flip 5. That box there. I have a video coming in the future of, well here, I'll give you a little sneak, a little sneak peek to look, look out for in the next couple of weeks or week or whatever. This JBL, am I really that stupid? This Bose speaker, Bose speaker, not JBL. I plan on using this for a week or two. Get my experiences down with it. See how I like it. If I don't like it, I'm going to return it get a charge for If I like it, I'm going to keep it. Uh, I just want to say, this is actually the second one I owned. The first one was returned within an hour. Uh, it was actually defective, that's why. <laughs> this one, turn it on. Battery high. Connected to... Galaxy A51. I don't have time to turn off the voice prompts on this one. So I'm actually going to do that now. Uh, I got Bose Connect right here. But something happened and Ty's bowl was disconnected. I know my bowl was disconnected. I turned it off. Voice prompts off. Now you see, I use my speakers and alarm, so the one feature I look forward to using is the auto, the auto uh, off timer being turned, being disabled. It doesn't actually have too bad of a sound. Oh, for its size, I should say. It's stereo sound, if I put it up close, I can hear the stereo. And if I put it somewhere I normally use it, right in the corner here. The only thing I don't like about it so far is this. The beeping gets old. Um, the unplug sound actually sounds like my old speakers disconnect. Should be connected. I don't know, let's try turning it off. It should make a beep when it connects. Like that. It actually connects pretty fast. And yes, the name of it in my phone is Ty's Bowls. There's my old speaker. There's my Sony and my JBL. So here, I'm going to put on a different song. This is my on repeat, by the way. Sure, that song works. I'm gonna turn it off. You know, it's playing all the phone. That's a really fast connection time. I'm gonna go get the JBL. There we go. 
This one's broken, by the way. The buttons don't work. It's got a very poor range. I'm careful with that thing. Turn that one off. Use a different song. It's, it's tough. I want to say though the bass on this is better. Cheers. Now I'm gonna time it. So I'm gonna hit power. About five and a half seconds before I got audio coming out of this one. And yes, this one's got a four range. It just recently started doing this too. I had this thing for two and a half months. Not even two and a half months. Two, two months and almost a week. A week starting tomorrow. This one. Three seconds. That's actually impressive. This thing has almost no vibration whatsoever. This one, on the other hand. We got a lot of vibration behind this. Really? Bose doesn't tell me that the speaker's connected. I gotta go under their software to find that out. Yeah. And yes, I named it Ty's Bose because I had no other better name for it. These are what my vlogs are gonna be like. They're not gonna have any point behind them. They won't be on one topic. Something's getting warm. I think it's heat. Oh yeah, the thing's putting out some heat. There's gonna be no topic to my vlogs. Turn this back down a bit. One second I might be talking about these speakers, then the Pioneer, then the Bose, and then the JBL. Uh, so yeah, there's like no point behind these. I'm just gonna do whatever uh, Starting off this fan right here. I haven't worked on this thing in about a year You can see it doesn't spin very well The capacitor is literally dangling off the thing I don't remember which wire goes where I remember which wire goes where Um, last year, maybe it was like after school for something, I had to get my friend Layton, my friend Melody, and her friend Jasmine. We all came here to study for a math thing. Um, so I went, of course... The other two were on their way. We had to go meet them again. I knew exactly where Melody lived. Went to her house, got her. And we're just coming back to drop our stuff off while we're waiting for the other two. On the way home, she, we see this fan. I'm like, well, I'm going to come grab this after we get the other guy. She's like, eh, let's just take it now. Picks it up and carries it to my house. It's been here ever since. That was almost a year ago. In fact, it was a year ago. Or no, not a year ago yet. It'll be a year ago in December. Uh, 
Well, I'll tell the story. That fan got in my house and hasn't left. It doesn't work right. It just hums. Well, I can fix it. Oh, I need to get rid of some of these boxes. There's so too many on the shelf. If I got get a charge for, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Uh, boxes I don't care about. Well, I don't have this speaker. This. I don't have this keyboard anymore. I still have the wireless charger, but I don't need it. I'm not gonna like put these boxes far. The boxes far. I'm just gonna put them down here. Why I have so many boxes? Well, I, that I don't know the answer to. What I just do. Also, yes, yeah, slight changes to the basement, stuff like that will go into a vlog instead of like a basement redo or whatever I want to call them. I got to redo the setup eventually here. Things are falling down. Um, wires need to be rerun properly, especially for my rear speakers. This needs to be ran properly through the ceiling and not having exposed connections like that to short out and blow an amp would be nice. Same for the one there and the one there. The one, where is it? Oh no, that's just one chunk of wire. It's that one that switches over to the white wire. Because these are just for my rear speakers. Yes, I got really overkill rear speakers. So there's a hair on there. I'm gonna deal with this pile of crap one day. I gotta rewire the sign, re rewire those lights, so it's not running off Ethernet cable with 120 volts on it. As you can see. I built those things, and yes, they do work. Thanks for watching this short vlog.